Hi guys, very good morning to you. This is Ajay and today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the another loop uh, which is do until loop in Excel VBA. All right. So we are on the video number 221. So we have recently started a loop series actually on Excel VBA because a lot of you have requested me that, you know, you, you can, you have, I um, mean, so many uh, videos on my, you know, this YouTube channel, but the problem is that uh, when you see the videos you understand but you know when you try to implement when you just uh, are not seeing the video then you have some problem in you know understanding the basics of it so you can't really apply those skills so with you know because i received a couple of emails and also uh, one or two comments on my youtube channel so i thought let's go ahead you know let's uh, just uh, you know start the basic series on the loops so welcome to the uh, tutorial uh, number 221 and uh, we are going to discuss today about the this the do until loop i have already started a series just in case if you do not know just go to my channel for those who especially watching this video for the first time who are new to my channel guys uh, we have a 220 videos so far uploaded on excel excel vba and uh, ms access access vba this is the library that this is the playlist where you can go and you know check out all these videos according to the category right so whatever video you are interested in you can go there and check and uh, you will find all these videos in this category called excel vba loops example and we have just started this part one part two part three part four part five so these are all the part five videos and just uh, you know try to watch them step by step because they're going to help you a lot so so far i have covered basically two loops uh, one is we have covered the for next loop uh, which is very important in excel vba if you don't know this then really you know you struggle a lot because loops are something which are the very much important part of your this you know the programming language so you should be very very good on your loops so we have discussed here our started from the very scratch and then we uh, another loop which we have discussed in excel vba is called the do loop example do loop exactly the do loop right so i have covered two videos on do loop also now today we are going to cover the do until loop right which is exactly the opposite so let's go ahead and let's discuss the do until loop uh, so then at the end of the day you will have a choice whether to use the do loop or do until right so this is going to be a do until loop right so in the do until loop i'm again going to uh, give you uh, the good example of it so first of all let us just write the structure so guys this is how you write in the vba within that you know the macro within sub and n sub okay between that uh sub and enter you write the loop and this is how you write do until uh the, these are these are two vba keywords and then you obviously close it with the loop right in the previous video if you if you have uh you know if you have watched those videos you see that that is that was do while and loop so there you don't use the until word so th this is a negative word which you're adding so that that makes the criteria altogether different so in the do until then you uh, you know write the criteria here this is how you write the criteria whatever the criteria now that really depends you know what exactly you are doing so i cannot i mean you know uh, uh, i cannot be sure that what exactly you know is would be you doing on your excel vba because that depends up upon the situation right but we can do one thing because we need the understanding we need just the basic understanding on that right logic can be anything so let's started from the very very basic example the same example which in fact we have covered in the do while loop right so in this video guys uh, i'm going to show you how you can run the loop so first of all let me just enter here some values any junk values okay now what we actually want to do so suppose to how the loop works actually this is what i want to show you so we want to run a loop starting from the a1 and we want to go one cell you know down one by one right every time and the moment it sees the blank it should stop the loop should stop immediately right and the message should come that we got the blank cell so this is what exactly we are going to do using the do until loop so let's go to the developer tab and let's hit on the visual basic window and uh, i'm going to insert the module here all right so this is the module i have inserted and uh, now let us write this sub do until loop Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, I'm going to uh, start it uh, simple, you know, let's just start with the sheet one. So I'm going to write here sheet one. It is going to be very simple. I try to make it as simple as I can. And then we are going to select the A1 cell. That's it. All right. So these are the simple lines which will take you to the A1 cell. Now the next part is do until. So you write do until like this. Do until. Okay. And you write the condition here. Condition here okay press enter obviously condition here is not a vba syntax so it will give me the error but that's fine we'll change it to you know later on some we provide the condition using vba syntax logics all right so this is how the loop goes here remember 
right you have to write the condition here and the criteria whatever you want to call it and till the time that condition is you know is being satisfied you know it is not going to actually leave this loop part and your v your vba code actually goes here you write the code here okay now because we want to start this we want to start this uh, you know here uh, from the a1 cell and we are already have written that range a1 dot select now what is the next thing i want to write here now if you if you would have seen my previous videos on the do loop there we have written something like this active cell dot value is not equals to blank okay and run the loop so what to do in the loop so let's say i just want the message box message box uh, let's say hi hello this is what exactly I need just to show you, you know, so the code goes here, which means that I'm just going to delete this. All right. So this is your message box. Hello is your VBA code. Now, guys, if you if you have uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos on the do loop, no problem. Uh, we can understand it again because this is a do until this is not actually a do while loop. Right. So you will be also understanding the difference between both the loops. Now, the thing is, when you are going to run this, so let's have a look here. So let's just run this. Now, look at this. I'm on the A1 cell because of this line now. Now, in the A1, you are saying that do until active cell dot value not equals to blank, right? So what will happen now, if you look at this, active cell dot value has got triple H, right? Now, if you think that because this is not a blank, right? So the loop should definitely go to the message box. Hello, you are wrong. Why? Because if you remember, when we use the do loop, when we use the do loop, uh, do while loop, so this is what exactly we did. Instead of using the until, we simply use the do while word. Now let me rerun this code and then you will have, you will find the difference. Look at this. Now here you are on the message box. It is not skipping the loop. Why? Because of the simple reason. Now look at this. It keeps on running, right? Because every time the value is in the cell is triple H and it is going to be satisfied because triple H is not blank right so what happens basically when you write do until until is itself you know it's a negative word so you can't say that do until that active cell dot value not equals to blank you will have to write it equals to blank because until actually itself is a negative word right so for example if i say that you are not supposed to go out until you do your work you don't say that until you do not do your work, right? So if you want to reverse it, if you want to use this in text without until, then how will you use it? Obviously, you would say that uh, you're not supposed to go out till you do not finish your work, right? Now, I'm not here to teach you on the English language, obviously, uh, you know, uh, but the thing is, I was just trying to actually explain you, right? So uh, don't hate me for that, but it, it is just that I want you to understand, you know, that how the do until and the do while loops work right so until itself it's a negative word so you can't actually use the not equals to sign again then what happens the you know the what exactly the logic you are putting it exactly starts working in the opposite way and that is why you see that when i run this let me just rerun this not equals to you see that it is not going to find this active set it is triple h now and you're saying that it should not be equals to space so what will happen the the logic will not be able to bend because of this until word so you have to say that run this loop until you find blank cell until you find blank cell means until your cell is equals to you know blank previously you were saying that your cell is not equals to blank cell right so obviously the cell is not going to be blank and the, you know because it has some value so condition is don't not going to satisfy because of this until word now if i run this this loop you see that what will happen there we go do you see that it immediately goes in into the message box and you know now it keeps on running obviously you know the reason why because every time it sees the active cell as triple h and the condition is going to meet right and if the condition is meeting then it will always go in this true area the vba code it will never you know uh, surpass this loop it's not going to actually directly go to the end sub. So this is an infinite loop and uh, I will definitely not like to press F5 here because then that makes the loop infinite. And that is infinite means that then you will have to stop this loop. Sometimes it happens while an, in an attempt to press escape, you know, then the changes which you have done, they may also, you know, lose. Your Excel may not be uh, going to 
uh, save all the changes right so now what we need to do is obviously we need to go one cell down every time right in the loop so i'm simply going to write here that uh, so we really don't need actually the message box um, first we are going to you know move this cell and this is how you move the cell active cell from the active cell offset me by how many rows and columns right so how many rows and columns means this is a very very general syntax in excel VBA. you should know you should be knowing this offset function right and if you don't know it you can go to my excel videos there and you can find it out that on the offset function also i have uploaded a lot of videos so the same concept which we use in the excel same concept actually we apply in the VBA also right so offset is just to move the cells from particular direction so right now we are on the active cell which is a2 so from there let's say we want to move one row down so you write like this and because there is no changes in the column you will be on the column a itself so you just write here zero and then select all right so this is how you write and uh, in the message box you can write here that uh, blank row is coming all right or maybe you can say that blank row has come that's it now let's have a look on this code so let's just start and we are on the a1 so on the a1 now we are seeing that you got to run this loop you know until you find the cell as blank so obviously triple h is not blank so it goes here and you know it moves down you can see here now we are on the a2 cell and then again again gg is not empty so it further goes to ww and ww as we know that it is also not empty so again the you know the cell will move from this one row down and which is going to be triple h the moment you reach to the blank cell now now see what will happen active cell is empty so this is condition is going to be satisfied and you know what you see here the blank row has come now just before uh, we end up this session uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and you now understood the difference between the do loop and do one tail uh, the just the last thing i want to do so what if you want to actually find the last row in your data where actually the blank is coming the first blank row is coming so in this line also you can do one thing uh, the blank row has come and so we can say that the blank row is on the row number and then declare it with some variable so let's say last row okay this is the variable i'm going to declare and you will have to obviously declare here as, as well so to find the last row so how are you going to find it well you will have to find it uh, the moment it loops the moment it loops you know in uh, in this column a it starts moving one one cell down just ensure that this last row is also going to you know be incremented by two by one so in that way you know you will be able to find it out and before you start the loop don't forget to mention it because the first time when the loop is going to run so the first time when the loop is going to run i guess it should have a value called one isn't it uh yeah it should have a value one let us understand this now again so let's just uh, let us go ahead and run this uh, run this code again so there we go now we got the last row as one as you can see all set and here we have triple h which is not empty obviously so it goes down and the moment it goes down now the last row which is already one i'm going to add one to it so that will make it two right and that is what exactly we are going to judge so you know that last row is two and i'm also on the row number two perfect now again i'm going to run this loop now what is the value in the gg do active cell dot value it is gg so if it is blank or not so it is actually not blank so further the loop will go and you see that last row you will have again getting incremented by one so this process keeps on moving right and this process keeps on moving till the time you don't see the blank cell or i would say that until you see the blank cell because we are working on the do until so i shouldn't be using any other word right all right so there we go and now the blank row is on the row number you know that your variable is holding which value last row is holding five because of this reason right so it's very simple so now you say that blank row is on the row number five that's it right so if i add something here let's just test one one more time because um, it should not happen that you know this code is specifically for the data uh, which we have you know taken uh, into consideration for this example i mean why not to change some things here so i have changed the things now the answer should come as 12 right so let's go ahead and uh, let's run this code guys there we go i'm gonna run this quickly oh there we go have have a look at it right so this is how you can find the row number 12 which is the blank row and so this is how the concept you know uh, your this the do until concept works right do until do loop they both actually the structure wise the syntax 
why is they remain same you hardly see any changes in that go back to the previous two videos and you know uh, see those videos under this playlist uh, do loop example part 5 and uh, do loop part 4 right you will understand it but if you are more comfortable with the do until you can use the do until as well in the do loop example in the do while example you just write here do while and this criteria changes to not equals to that's it you can run this again have a look on this look at this everything works so nice so it is just about the criteria and it is just about this keyword that makes it a difference otherwise you know rest remains everything i mean rest uh, remains um, everything i mean everything remains same right so if you ask me uh, personally uh, what exactly i use so i'm more uh, you know inclined towards the uh, do while loops right because there i really don't have to think much on the criteria right so but anyways it's your choice and uh, it should be a good question from the interview perspective as well people can ask you what is the difference between do until and do loop so you got to just tell them that the first difference is there uh, uh, you know a very minute difference is in the uh, the keyword which we use until and uh, there we use the while and the structure wise everything remains same they have a criteria and both the loops have criteria and uh, after the criteria you start writing your you know uh, the VBA code and to once you are through with the VBA code you just end up having the loop word right if you're not going to enter the loop word then what will happen you know they can ask you so what will happen they will it will actually give you the prompt it will give you the error let me run this and the error is going to be you know very uh, it is going to be i mean you know it, it it says everything the story you know do without loop you won't get you know uh, any, better than this i mean in terms of explaining the error it, it's actually so simple anyone can read it and they can understand all right so what is happening so do without loop they can ask you that you know when you going to see these kind of errors like do without loop why loop is necessary so loop is necessary because that is the integral part of your loop if you're not going to write the loop then the loop will not run and you will get the error do without loop so you will have to write the loop and you will have to write the loop exactly where you are through with your where you are finished up with your vba code the syntax code you know so basically three parts we have first the criteria and in the criteria after the criteria we write the vba syntax and to close that we use the loop word which comes with both the loops with the do until as well as the as well as with the do while right so i hope you understood this and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys uh, you have a link there on the right bottom corner just to be a part of this channel and have take the benefit of all these amazing 221 videos on excel excel vba ms access and access vba i will be back with some interesting stuff until then you take yourself and have a very very happy learning thank you so much